Hey YouTube, this is uh, Esplin227. Um, this is a video to James. Uh, James Uscroft, my good friend. Um, it's about the anti-theism thing. Okay, I think I know what's happening. There's a good chance that almost one-fourth of the people who call themselves anti-theist are actually secularist. For instance, um, half of the four horsemen, they call them, are actually not anti-theist. They're secularist. Um, they're, um, they want to, for instance, Sam Harris, uh, is actually pushing to, uh, remove religion from the, the, uh, issue of morality. He's not actually anti-theist. He's showing that when you add theism to morality, you get bad results. He's not saying that it makes people bad people. Um, Dawkins, he might be anti-theist, but he's often made to seem much more extremist than he is. Um, most... <laughs> It bothers me because most atheists on this website haven't even read his books. I have. Um, almost all of them. Uh, in fact, I've read almost everything from all of the Four Horsemen um, and a lot of theist books. Uh, you know, I, I like to get both sides and understand their argument. Also, I wanted to be a biblical anthropologist when I was a kid. That's actually what led me away from religion. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Um... What I think is, a lot of people were like me before I saw your channel. I actually stopped calling myself an anti-theist when I saw your channel. Here's why. And I do have one aspect of me that is anti-theist. But it's a little more complicated than that. One, I'm a rationalist. Um, if someone has an irrational belief, and they say this, or it affects me in any way, I want to tell them why their belief is irrational, and why it is potentially harmful. If, after I tell them that, they choose to instead believe it, believe it anyway, um, well, that's, that's their prerogative. I don't think that affects how good of a person it, they are. It does affect their... In my eyes, they do become a much less intellectually honest person by, like, a wide mile. Well, it's not really... that. Regular honesty has a gradient, I think, but intellectual honesty, uh, to me, really only has three steps. Um, either you're somewhere in the middle, uh, like m most people are, you're completely intellectually dishonest, like most theists are. Now, I know that's going to seem extremist, but I only say that because theism itself requires faith. And I don't mean confidence faith, you know, confident that you're not going to just blow up. I mean faith as in religious faith, which is inherently intellectually dishonest. Um, not actually dishonest uh, in the sense of, you know, uh, straight up lying. You know, they, they're definitely in earnest. They definitely believe what they're saying. It's just it, re it requires certain intellectual conceits, I guess. Um, and then there are those who are intellectually honest. I consider myself to be intellectually honest. I frequently uproot massive beliefs that I had. I analyze them. I cut out the fat, I guess you could call it, and then I put it... I keep the parts that are good. I don't even just expel a belief when it turns out to be wrong. I try to find out what was right about it, even though my pride wants me to just be like... Ugh, you know? But anyway, uh, sorry, I go off on a tangent. I am a rationalist. I am a secularist. I am a militant secularist. Um, but even that, I don't go too far. I'm sorry, everyone. I still think we should have left the cross thing alone. I mean, even The Daily Show went on about that. I mean, when you get Jon Stewart against you, when he's normally completely with you on every issue, you know, maybe you're, you took it too far. 
I, I would have left the 9-11 thing alone. Just like I wouldn't have walked into a funeral where they're praying for the death of a little girl and been like, yeah, there's no such thing as God. Even if an atheist girl also died. So, that doesn't mean I need to be an ass about it. But anyway, um... The last thing is, uh... What I call my anti-theism. And I think a lot of people who call themselves anti-theist are not anti-theist in the way you mean it. I... not only want to... um... I not only want to have everything separate, the church separate from the government, I don't want to do damage to the people who are in these churches, but I would, I do like it when, again, I don't mean physical damage to churches, like what that small group of atheists did, and then all the atheists helped to fix the problem. You know, I'm talking about damage to them financially. Uh, I would, whenever a prominent theist goes down, turns out to be gay, or whatever. You know, that's not secularism. That has nothing to do with the government. But I'm glad. I'm glad he got brought down. Um, I support people trying to bring down the churches, even churches that are not, um, that are not directly involved in the government. Um, because I don't see what religion does to be a good thing, and I think we have enough data to show that it is not quite a good thing, even though there are good things about it. Again, I don't want to take anyone's freedom away. You have the right to your religion. But um, when it comes to economic things, like I wouldn't make an economic policy against religion, but if you made an economic policy, I don't know, against, like clubs getting, like, the tax-exempt status. Well, that would be secularism. You get what I'm saying, right? Uh, I am happy when, um, I'm happy when certain priests who claim the moral high ground are disgraced. Not because I want to see anyone b get disgraced, but because I want to see people disillusioned. I, I want to see people... You know, I'm not anti-theist, uh, but I, if there's something I can say that damages the church, now again, not physically, uh, but does damage to their image or their reputation, and it's true, I will say that thing gleefully. Um, um, I don't like religion. Um, and I don't see religion as a person whose rights I can step on. There are people in a religion whose rights you can step on, but I am in opposition to religion. But that's only third. First, I'm a rationalist. For those of you who really are anti-theist, understand this. Religion is gasoline, not the fire. It just isn't. It never was. It never will be. Are there times where it's a spark? Sometimes. For instance, the 100-year war. That was about sovereignty. What happens when you add religion to that? You make what would have been a 20-year war a 100-year war. That's what religion does. Uh, for instance, the Middle East. That's about politics and things first world countries did to fuck up the Middle East. We raped the shit out of that country. However... When you add religion to an already bad situation, it becomes a quagmire. Um, again, religion did not cause those things, but religion is an amplifier. Um, there are even times where religion can amplify good things. For instance, say you have a charity. Um, if I don't think you should put Christ in, in the charity, but if you did, you could probably get a lot more people to give to that charity. That's because religion is an amplifier. It'll amplify either the good or the bad. It just does. It's not a position I'm holding. It's what history has shown us to be the case. Um, I think when you remove religion from any given subject, or at least remove the bias that religion has, 
that's what I'm trying to destroy. I'm trying to destroy, not destroy, but, well, yeah, I'm trying to destroy the respect for religion and shift it to respect for people who happen to be religious. That's what a lot of people mean when they say anti-theist. Unfortunately, I fear most of them are saying it in the way you're arguing against, and I agree with you on that point. They're wrong. They're just bigoted. You know, they've decided that everything, you know, they're like conspiracy theorists. Everything's religion. No, it isn't. Religion is gasoline, not the fire. You remember the 80s song, We Didn't Start the Fire? That's, that's religion saying that. Uh, they just, they're just gasoline, you know. Um, that's, that's how I've seen it. And I think, I, I have not found anyone who can contradict that, atheist or theist, that when you add religion to a situation, if it's a good situation, it sometimes amplifies it. Unfortunately, most of the time, it amplifies the bad, um, the bad aspects of a situation, of a conflict situation, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, my anti-theism is based on destroying the respect for irrational beliefs. And, um, I think a lot of people read books from the Four Horsemen. Actually, no, they don't. They watch a one-hour uh, speech that's on a specific issue, and they think that they know that person's views. But you got to remember that that person is often referring back to things in their book. Um, so I guess... At the end of this video, I also have a challenge. If you're an atheist, you need to read some of these books, not just the God Delusion. Um, right now, I'm going through the extended phenotype. I read the Selfish, I mean, yeah, the Selfish Gene, uh, River Out of Eden, um, the Blind Watchmaker, ah, the Blind Watchmaker, the Greatest Show on Earth. I read pretty much all of Dawkins' books except The Devil's Chaplain and one other book. Uh, the Ancestor's Tale I read. But anyway, um, Dawkins is a brilliant evolutionary biologist. Not that my opinion matters. I'm not an evolutionary biologist. Um, Hitchens is a little more anti-theist, even though Dawkins has one point that I disagree with vehemently. We cannot interfere with parents teaching their children religion. That is the worst idea. Uh, that's just going to cause the biggest backlash. Just like the cross thing in the 9-11 thing. You, it might be okay in principle. For instance, telling people that you can't indoctrinate. See, I don't agree with the idea of indoctrination, you know? Um... Are some people indoctrinated? Yes. But do they still have free will? Yeah. Um, but, I'm sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. So, James, um, there's just not a word to separate the type of anti-theism you're talking about and the type of anti-theism that I think a lot of people are talking about, where we are actively trying to harm religion. Not harm the people in religion, but we're, we're trying to do harm to the institution. Uh, removing the respect for religion. The way people tend to just stop talking when we start talking about faith, because you don't want to offend anyone. Well, you shouldn't be... It, you wouldn't do that for anything else. We want to remove the special exemptions religion has. Do other people have other crazy beliefs? Yes. Conspiracy theorists, racist, think any ist, but the only ist that you're not allowed to question is theist. You get what I'm saying? That's what anti-theist, in, in my sense of the word, and I think in Dawkins' sense, except for that kid thing. Damn it. I wish he didn't say that, but I think that the type of anti-theism is the type that's good, uh, not against theist. Uh, okay. Um, until my next video, try to make the world a better place, and I will too.